Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. In salutation to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the few sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's your brother, Ben Yamiana from GMS, Mississippi. Over in transit topic, just through the spirit. You know, I didn't really have anything kind of set forth of speaking upon you know this is what i want to go into in particular you know and i really want to try to just allow the spirit to just you know give me something to, to speak upon you know allow the spirit to feed you you know so that brings me to allowing you to be utilized by the spirit you know because we are not our own we're not ourselves you know because we have lives that were lent unto us we have these vessels, our bodies that were lent to us. We have our spirits that were lent to us and we are not our own. You know, we may have so-called possessions and we may think that we are in possession of our lives or in possession of these bodies, you know, but we're the property of the creator. You know, we're the property of he that sitteth on high with his only begotten son at his right hand. And there's absolutely nothing that we can do against the will of the heavenly father. You know, because when you look at so-called manifest destiny or you look at pre-programming, your lives have already been written in a book before you were even born. The things that you were gonna go through, the person that you were going to become, how things were gonna happen within their time, Everything that befalls you, whether it's good or whether it's evil, was already pre-written. And that should take away the pride for man. You know, but pride is instilled inside of the hearts of the wicked. You know, and the evildoers of Yahweh, you know, the, the evildoers of this world. You know, but those that are of Yahweh by Shem Shah, you know, they love and seek after righteousness and understand that the Heavenly Father, He ruleth in the kingdoms of men. And He set up. Uh, the judges of this earth, the judges of this world, you know, for his own purpose. So if the king's heart is being manipulated by he that sitteth on high, how much the more the children of the most high. So when you sit back and you reflect upon you know, what is the will of the Heavenly Father? You know, you you meditate upon, you know, what is your purpose in life? Like, what is it that the Heavenly Father specifically wants you to do to benefit the ministering of Him and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai? And when you fall back and rely solely upon the Spirit moving you, you know, it's a humbling experience. And it allows your mind, body, and soul to be at peace and know that he is. You know, because as it is written, you know, be ye still and know that I am Yahweh. So being still means that you're at uh, solemnity. You have a solemn state of mind and you look at things from a humbling perspective. So basically, you look at things as, as, as you understand and you know that he is in control and your life is not your own, you know, and we have decisions presented before us, you know, to choose good or evil, to choose right or, right or wrong. And those are the options that we're faced with on a daily basis. But at the end of the day and the beginning of it, if you're righteous, you're gonna be righteous still. If you're wicked, you're gonna be wicked still. If you're holy, you're gonna be holy still. If you're a sinner, you're gonna be a sinner still. And that's the main objective, but you have to, to, to understand which side of that spectrum, which side of that quadrant that you are truly on. You know, because it's easy, right? The scripture says that with their mouths, they honor me, but their heart is far from me. So that's why we are commanded to not love, not only in word, but in deed and in truth. So that's with actions. 
And without action, there wouldn't be anything made that, that, that was made. Action brought forth the waters. Action brought forth the earth. Action brought, brought forth the heavens. Action brought, brought forth the sun and the stars and the moon. Action brought forth those things. So in order to yield positive and righteous results, actions have to spring forth. And when you understand and you know that the spirit, it does what the spirit do, people's interactions, they have spirits on them. They either gonna have a good spirit on them or they gonna have a bad spirit on them. They gonna have a good angel on them or they gonna have one of them, <laughs> one of them rah, rah, rahs for you, you know? And those are the things that we deal with because the scripture says what? That we wrestle not against flesh and, flesh and blood, but against principalities, you know? Those, the, those spiritual things, those things that we can't see. And like I said, that's just the spirit, you know? The spirit of wickedness, the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of peace or the spirit of turmoil and chaos. But choose ye this day, you know, to serve Yahweh Shem HaShah, and know that he is you know he and his only begotten son they get all the praise they get all the glory and they get all the honor because a time is going to come very soon to where you know the heavenly father is going to demand these lives that he lent us he's going to call you into that spirit world you know as it is written the spirit of the man goeth upward And this vessel that you borrowed is going to stay here on earth. It's going to decay. It's going to rot. And that circle of life, you know, the Heavenly Father created to where, you know, he, he wanted man to be fruitful and multiply. That was the promise unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, starting with Abraham, that he was going to be a father of many nations, you know, and that's what his name is goes back to and he was going to make his seed as the sands of the, the sands the sands of the sea so you look at the seashore and how many granules of sand is out there is innumerable you can't count it and that's how the heavenly father has it for the nation of Israel but the spirit speaketh that 144,000 the elect are going to be saved and preserved from the calamity that is for to come and that's all through the spirit you know that that calamity was spoken of and the spirit is going to move those uh prophetic events into actions you know hey because nothing comes from nothing and the heavenly father is a god of war right as it is written so if he's the author of peace right because the scripture says that shall evil be done in the city and the lord hath not done it so if he's the author of peace then he's a, he's the author of war and knowing that through the spirit when you look at events take place like man that's the lord working when things happen or befall someone that you know of you know especially if something happens to someone you know the, you're with on a regular basis you know like a lot of things happen to like wicked co-workers and stuff like that like, man you heard what happened about john they know what happened man he got decapitated you know it could be anything but it's the spirit because the scripture says that that, that there be spirit spirits created for vengeance when these people get shot in the head and get slumped over you know people get into arguments and things just go haywire Spirits be upon men after seeing their wives or girlfriends in adulterous situations. The scripture says that jealousy is the rage of man. That's the spirit, and the spirit is speaking through the through the uh, the scripture as well. Upon the jealousy is the rage of a man, and people get bent out of shape about a man kind of losing it. You know when someone has plowed around his field you know, but it is what it is but that's the spirit and the spirit has things happen in your lives to where it's going to put you on a positive track or keep you on that straight narrow track or it's to, to 
completely detour you and have you detached from the truth, detached from the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding to where you no longer accept things being in the spirit. Like, nah, you know. You start looking at things from a carnal aspect. You start looking as though you're in control, you're in, in the power seat. You start looking at events that happen around you as though, you know, a man did that. And it goes both ways because actions have rewards, positive rewards or, or negative rewards. You know, but understand that the Heavenly Father is the author of all things. It allows you to continue to move in the spirit. So a most is willing, uh, that edification was made. So until next time I say shalom.